First, remove the dust cap from the calibration can and set it aside. You will be replacing this when we're finished with calibration. Next, ensure the regulator valve is closed, and then connect the can to the regulator. This is easiest to do by holding the can in the palm of your right hand and the regulator in your left hand. Apply pressure, screwing the can into the regulator. Now, connect the small end of the calibration adapter to the top of the regulator. Now, turn your monitor on by pressing and holding the power button until the display turns on, then release. Allow your monitor to boot up to the home screen. You can navigate through the Micro Plus menus by either using your finger or one of the enclosed styluses for more precision. Once on the home screen, touch the gears icon. Then touch the calibration kit icon. Next, touch the zero scale. Let the zeroing process cycle through with the hourglass until you get the check mark. Touch the check mark to accept the zeroing value. This will return you to the previous screen. Connect the D piece to the monitor. Connect the large end of the calibration adapter onto the D piece. Next, turn on the flow of gas. You may need to adjust the flow rate depending on the type of regulator that you have. Now, touch the calibration can of gas icon. Some end users may find it more convenient to lay the can on its side during calibration. Allow the gas to flow and don't worry about the number you see on the screen. Calibration is complete when you've received a check mark or an X on the screen. If you receive an X on the screen, restart the calibration process. If you continually receive an X, call Covita for technical support. Turn off your gas. Touch the check mark icon to accept the calibration. Touch the home icon to return to the main screen. Next, remove the D-piece. In order to prevent gas from leaching out, be sure to disassemble your calibration kit when you are finished. Unscrew your regulator from the can. You can leave the calibration adapter connected to the top of your regulator for convenience. Finally, replace the dust cap to the top of the can and store your calibration kit in its original packaging in a temperature-controlled environment. Your calibration is now complete and you are now able to conduct a test or turn your monitor off if no further readings are necessary.